before i start this review i have a quick note that i am introducing a leaderboard with this review this is a leaderboard for actors uh depending on the percentage of their movies i have liked so over time the leaderboard will go up and down but here are some basic rules an actor comes on the list only after i have watched three movies of his so as of now all the actors won't be there. In fact, even Mamuti won't be there because I've not watched three movies. So only after three movies, any three movies, that actor will come on my list. Secondly, any movie which I don't like or I like but it's good, it's okay, any average movie will not be on the list. The movie which is considered as a good movie is something that I really, really enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed and I loved and I would recommend. So taking all the movies into account, I will give it a percentage. For example, if I have watched 10 Nivin Pali movies and I like 5, he gets 50%. If I have watched 10 Dulker Salman movies and I have liked 7, he gets 70%. So it's a simple percentage. I'm going to round it up and put it up there. But only after I have watched 3 movies of every actor. So as of now, all the actors are not there. But please do keep recommending movies and actors and all of that so that most actors can be there and hopefully you guys follow me for a long time so we can see how the leaderboard changes over time the leaderboard will be there at the start of the video and the end of the video showing the current stage and the change in the ratings that is will happen so this Mahesh and Depadikaram is the third movie of Fahad Fasil which I watched which is why I got this idea so you will have to wait till the end of the review to see my current leaderboard so I hope you enjoy this new addition to my reviews Let's get into Mahesh and Pratikaro. Hello everyone, this is Damesh and today we are going to review the movie Mahesh and Te Pratikaram, the most loved, adored and successful movie of 2016 which is highly highly recommended by all of you. I am going to structure this review so I move from the objective points and then to the subjective aspects of the discussion. So let's get right into the review. The first thing I'd like to speak about is the location, Idgi. Without this location, half the impact of this movie goes away because it plays a very important part. It's like a character in itself and Idgi has been shot in the most beautiful way. In fact, after watching the movie, I spoke to my friend who is uh, Malayali and I asked him, you know, is your house in Kerala like this? Because I want to come, man. I want to stay in such small houses which are, you know, in between all the greens, they have their own verandas. They look so cozy, so comfortable. I just felt like going there and, you know, chilling out for a while, having a cup of tea and doing some, you know, vacationing over there. So, <laughs> so Idki was shot beautifully in this movie, uh, especially in the last fight scene behind in the background. There was, I don't know if it was a waterfall or a dam, but in the crazy hills, the greenery, outstanding and that gave this movie a constant consistent look that glued you to the screen in terms of visual impact so the cinematographer the dop have all done a very good job technically this departments have done very brilliant job on this movie so that gets full marks acting wise uh, there are many actors in this movie of course it is led by fahad fasil Fahad Fasil's acting, there's something I observed very randomly which I would like to share is that I watched his movie Bangalore Days, not 24 Katham which I will be reviewing very soon and Mahesh Inde Pratikaram. I know that he's a very good actor, of course we can see that. He, in fact in Bangalore Days I said that his performance was the most difficult to do and he pulled it off very well. But here's what I think that he has a very strong personality. He has a personality which is very intense. He's not like the extraordinarily humorous funny guy in real life who takes up serious roles in movies and does a good job like Jim Carrey for example who we've always seen in comedy but when you saw him in the movie the number 23 it was crazy and when you see him doing you know like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind that's like a transition I think that Fahad Fasil inherently has a very strong personality a very serious intense personality and he chooses his roles very smartly so a lot of the intensity which he brings to screen in all these three movies specifically, not all his other movies which I have not watched. In these three movies, the intensity which he brings to the role, I think 50% of that comes naturally from his personality and his look. He has that look, he works on that look with his acting skills and makes that performance absolutely fantastic. So I, as of now, many of you say that, you know, he's better than Nivin and Dulker and you know, he's one of the best actors that may be so. 
but I will take a while to judge that and I feel that uh, as of now in these three movies his intensity natural intensity has a lot to contribute in the foundation of the performances but nevertheless he was fantastic he was natural he did his job perfectly moving on to Shobin Sahir he was again fantastic not only was he funny but he also played shades of serious uh, you know scenes in this movie so he had a multi-dimensional character to play in this movie his scenes especially the Crispin Cripsin scene which was hilarious and the Mamuti versus Mohanlal scene which he goes to the house and speaks to the girl about was also hilarious so he had a bunch of extremely funny scenes in this movie and not only funny he also you know reacted in some serious situations very well and he is a complete performer i would say he's not just there to you know put him there and make everyone laugh and go away he's someone who can actually give a solid support which he has shown in this movie that he can do any kind of role and um, you know a role with multi multiple dimensions also so i thoroughly enjoyed his performance there were many other supporting cast because this movie has a lot of characters, a lot of subplots, sub subplots, you know, a lot is going on in this movie and everyone was very natural including Baby Chetan and all the girls in the movie. Everyone did a very good job. Moving on to the comedy in this movie, there were, I think, according to me, seven or eight scenes which were so funny that I was literally laughing out loud. I don't understand the language but whatever I could the jokes that I did understand because of the subtitles and the situations which I saw on screen was the most funniest scenes I've ever seen in a Malayalam movie. I have watched some very funny Malayalam movies like Two Countries for example and some other movies which I will also be reviewing but this was by far these scenes were epically funny. They were outstandingly shot and I thoroughly credit the director for bringing out the comedy when according to me those scenes were not the the people were not intentionally being funny so you know those natural situ situations wherein it just seems so funny to the third party which is us is outstandingly short on a story level this movie is an extremely simple story about mahesh and the life around him his surroundings the character around him all the characters around him i'm sorry and he basically gets into a fight at one point of a time after a small build up and a bunch of events he gets into a fight he gets beaten up and he wants to avenge that person just for his you know i don't know ego or his personal satisfaction he wants to avenge that person and he promises not to wear his slippers till he avenges that person and the whole movie follows that journey until he avenges him and what all changes happen in his life and how you know a lot of things change from the first lover to the second lover, his photography skills, his interactions with people, a lot of things has been shown in this movie along with a bunch of characters and subplots and sub characters. So this movie basically is a very simple script. It's something that uh, you know if you read you might think it will this work I'm not sure if this will work and then you know it does work I mean I heard that the movie got standing ovations and whatnot and it's of course because the way y'all are recommending it to me it's one of the biggest hits but but of course as you guys said there is a disconnect because the Malayalam audience can understand this movie much 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 better than me because of the language barrier primarily uh, a lot of the dialogues the references which might have been used the tributes that might have been given to some other movies or some cultural tributes might be missing for me because i missed the dialogue but on a story level i don't think on a story level that it's a disconnect because it this situation can happen to anyone this can happen in any place if this was shot with a bihar or a up or a delhi or a bombay scenario it would still be the same story except the dialogues wouldn't be the same the execution wouldn't be the same and that's something that i'm not used to which is why i cannot you know appreciate the movie as much as you guys because you know a lot about it for example I recently watched Kiridom. Again, I'm telling you all the movies that I watched because I will be reviewing it also. So I watched Kiridom recently and in Kiridom, because of that fight scene wherein uh, the last fight scene wherein everyone is standing and they're fighting in the mud. It, then when I watched it, I could relate to Mahesh and Pradikaram. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe this does have a lot of cultural references, movie references, a, a lot to do with being a Keralite, with being a Malayalam, which only you guys can understand. And it's extraordinarily difficult for anyone else to understand what's going on in this movie, why this movie was so successful and how do I enjoy this movie. So for me as a third party, of course that there was that disconnect because of the subtitles. But I would also love to know from you guys what other disconnects were there, what other things I missed that only Kerala 
you know kerala audience can understand that i can't understand so on and so forth i would love to know please leave your comments below and let me know all the things that you want me to know about this movie so maybe after i watch a bunch of other movies and i come back to watching my ashinde pradikaram i enjoy it much much more the way it is supposed to be watched another thing i want to add specifically is the ending scene the shot where he comes to the hospital and he just says everything and then at the last he says i want to marry your daughter if jimson is okay with it Jimson what do you think and boom the movie ends and i literally was super impressed by that ending i literally clapped i wanted that ending to be just that way it was perfect it ended exactly where we were supposed to and i honestly think there should have not been any scene after that that would have left an impact on the viewers like oh my god what a movie you know especially you guys who understood the movie much more than me but the fact that they showed another scene that they are together and you know everything is okay in the credits that kind of pulled it down a little bit i don't think that scene should have been there it should have just ended blatantly at that spot you know very randomly very suddenly abruptly boom you know go home that's all you get from this movie so i think that the last last scene the credit scene should not have been there it should have ended where it ended first so all in all because i didn't understand the references because you know i couldn't enjoy it as much as you guys because i am an outsider i am not going to rate this movie because it's not fair on my part i did tell you what i think of the movie and maybe i will enjoy it years later if i watch it again but this is what i think and i honestly don't feel that it i have any right to rate this movie so i'm not going to rate this movie at all but definitely let me know what you guys would rate this movie i'm sure it would be 5 10 stars all 100 stars <laughs> because you guys love it so much so please leave your comments below i hope you like this review i have tried my best to give my opinion on this movie like comment share subscribe keep watching for more reviews coming up a lots and lots and pots of reviews coming up on my channel take care